Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, today we've got a very fun one for you. It's one of my favorite things to do. Well, generally flying is my favorite thing to do ever. Um, but this uh, this procedure I'm going to teach you today is is one of my favorites as well. Uh, I don't get to do it very often when I'm flying in. But every now and then the opportunity arises and I absolutely love doing it. Today we're going to be doing a circle to land approach. So what is a circle to land? A circle to land is when you approach the airport from one runway direction and then you do the circle to land procedure where you break off at minimums and then you fly downwind off that runway direction and land on the opposite side. Now the reason we do this is sometimes, sometimes the, they, they want you to, to fly the ILS but they want you to land on the other side which probably does not have an ILS. So because of that, um, you have to do a very specific procedure which is following the ILS down to a specific runway and then basically fly downwind on the side of the runway and then come around and then you uh, basically just land on the opposite side. So let me give you some numbers. Today, we're in Amsterdam, the beautiful city of Amsterdam. And uh, you can actually see the canals right over there. So now in Amsterdam, specifically in runway 27, there is a circle to land procedure. And if you look at that procedure, um, basically it's given us minimums of 890 feet, which is going to be in our category of speed for the approach, which should not exceed 180 knots, by the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the procedure. Let me explain to you first. We're going to set up an ILS and fly down towards runway 27, okay? When we're at the circle to land minimums of runway 27, I'm going to basically break away from the approach and I'm gonna go 45 degrees to the right of the runway track. Now the runway track in Amsterdam is 266 degrees. Now going to the right 45 degrees gives us a track of 311. So I'm gonna Turn to the right 45 degrees to 311 and then I'm going to start the timer using the chrono button right here. When the timer reads 30 seconds of flying the 45 degree break off, I'm going to set the downwind track of which is now going to be my new runway which is 09. The actual runway I'm going to land on is 09 which is on the other side of 27. So that will be 266 degrees back to the left and then we're gonna fly downwind maintaining visual of the runway at all times then when we're a beam the base of the runway we have to fly outbound basically one uh, three seconds for every 100 feet we are above the, the runway okay above the land above the ground I'm sorry so if three seconds for every hundred feet i'll be at 890 feet we'll round it out to 900 so then that would work out to flying 20 second 27 seconds outbound after which we're going to turn around and then visually line up with runway 09. i'm currently in a holding pattern just outside the airport there's the airport right over there. I pre-programmed runway 27 uh, for the ILS. So let me just get the ILS going. ILS on there, ILS on there. We've got 2000. And looking at the chart one more time, you can see that uh, we're gonna enter a waypoint called Tigbo at 2000 feet. And then the approach is gonna start at Alpha Mike 639 and it's going to be a three degree descent down to a circle to land minimums of 890 feet so now i need to set all of this up so first thing we want to do is we want to sequence the flight plan oh i'm going to do that a little bit later 
once I get out of the, I'm currently in a hold, present position hold. So what I want to do now is I want to go to the performance page, next phase, and we're going to fill in all these details over here. So the the uh, QNH today in Amsterdam is 1028. I'm going to put that there. And also I'm going to cross check that it's 1028 on all three sides. The temperature in Amsterdam today is a, let me have a look here, is a very warm 9 degrees. The winds are 050 at 17 knots. So I'm approaching, it's favoring runway 09, but I will be starting the approach runway using runway 27. And now here, here's where we put in the barrel, the minimums, right? So our minimums are going to be 890. So I'm gonna put 890 in there for our minimums. And there it is right there in our barrel reference, 890 barrel. So we've set that up, okay? So now the initial approach, which is approaching runway 27 on the ILS, is set up in the box. Now, for the next part, we need to set up the actual runway we're gonna land on, which is the other side of 27, which will be runway 09er. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna come to the secondary flight plan, I'm gonna copy the active flight plan, and then I'm going to choose Amsterdam from the bottom, pick the arrival and I'm not going to do an ILS or anything like that I'm just going to pick because this is a visual approach I'm just going to pick runway 09 no stars no transitions nothing runway 09 and if you look over here there it is in white that's our final approach right there on the secondary flight plan already all right so uh, that's basically it and now all I have to do is exit the uh, hold and do the approach. All right, so I'm gonna get back to you in just a moment when I uh, start the approach. All right, here we are starting the approach into Amsterdam. So now the cool thing is everything's set up in the box right now. I've stored my tray table, we've done the approach checklist, everything is ready to go. So all that's left right now is the, um, is the actual approach itself. So we're currently inbound towards Tidbo, we're about 6.5 miles away from Tidbo. And uh, I just reached 15 track miles away from landing, so now's a good time to start configuring. We're currently in clean configuration. So I'm gonna go with flaps one now. So here we go, speed check and flaps one, which will be done by pilot monitoring. Here come the flaps. Flaps are in position, we've got flaps one. All right, it's just somewhere out there. And we've got some crazy winds today as well. 25 knots, lovely. And since I've been cleared by the tower for the approach, I'm gonna go ahead and arm the localizer and glide slope by pushing the approach button and the second autopilot as well. And that's gonna give us Cat 3 Dual Autopilot 1 Plus 2 on our FMA. Always read your FMA, all right? It, can't, it gives you an idea of what the aircraft uh, computers are thinking. So reading the FMA is good practice. So we've got the glide slope in blue, localizer blue, Everything is ready, waiting for the localizer to come in. Just gonna, it's gonna come in anytime soon. And as we start the turn now, very soon we're gonna capture the glide slope. I'm gonna go flaps two now, speed check, and flaps are two selected. And by the way, we're gonna do the maneuver and on our on our F speed, which is going to, and we'll maintain flaps three during the maneuver, and we'll only go for flaps full when we start the turn for final approach, which I'll be doing manual. Here comes the localizer. Very soon, you're going to see the uh, blue localizer go to lock star, which is now the process of capturing the localizer. Awesome. Coming down to F speed. 
and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna maintain a selected speed of 160 knots just uh, for the sake of not you know creating too much traffic behind me so we're on the localizer glide slopes coming in right now there it is glide slopes coming in Once I capture the glide slope, I'm going to go back to manage speed and maintain F speed. Glide slope is one bar above the center. That's a good time for landing gear down and flaps three. And we're going to keep flaps three for now. I'm going to arm the speed brakes, get the lights on. Tell the cabin crew, cabin crew, be seated for landing. Thank you. All right. And if you look out in the distance, you could actually see our runway coming into view right now. We've just captured the glide slope, go around altitude for this approach is 3000, gonna set 3000 right there. And now we've started our descent on the glide slope, I'm gonna come back, manage the speed so that the aircraft will maintain F speed for me. So now we're pretty much set up. As you can see, we've got one more notch to go for the flaps, but we're doing okay. We're doing fine. We're going to keep it there. Now, to give me a greater accuracy, what I want to do is I want to go into Track FPA. Track FPA will give me accuracy on my track factored for the wind. So, so there's 1,000. That's checked. Coming in. 100 above. Okay, we're 100 above minimums. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push Minimum. to level off. All right, so we've leveled off at minimums. We have the runway in sight. I'm going to pull the track knob and I'm going to go to the right 311. 45 degrees to the right. 311 is set. 311 is confirmed. The aircraft is now turning. To 311. As soon as the wings are level at 311, which is just about coming in right now, there we go. 311. I'm going to start the chrono and we're going to fly in this direction for 30 seconds. There's our clock. 30 seconds is is timing we've got 15 seconds to go and as soon as I reach 30 seconds I'm gonna go back to the downwind of the runway we're gonna land on which is gonna be 266 degrees 27 28 29 30 there's 30 seconds without any hesitation come back to 266 degrees there we go 266 is set lovely Making the turn, maintaining visual with that runway at all times. There's runway 27 right over there. We're currently now on the downwind track of, run of that runway. Now the way we can figure out if we're a beam is just by looking at the wings. When the wings over here are a beam, the end of the runway, you know you're a beam. And now I'm going to come down to secondary flight plan and I'm going to activate the secondary flight plan and there we go there's my runway now which on which I'm going to land flight director is off ILS is off just using the bird right now okay now we're going to time 20 seconds outbound or was it 27 seconds there's the timer again we're going to time 27 seconds outbound and at this point I want to go flaps full and we're gonna that's gonna finish the landing checklist and now I want to basically disconnect the autopilot <coughs> autopilot is disconnected I am hand flying the aircraft now now that runway track is going to be uh, 086 degrees so I'm gonna ask my pilot monitoring to set 086 for me on the on the on the uh, track selector and I'm gonna bank to 25 degrees and st and start a gentle descent just 25 degrees of bank turning back towards the runway I'm 
got into a little climb there. So just correcting it. Nice gentle descent. Auto trust stays on during this time, by the way. Don't think. Don't think. We're very low, so ignore him. As I come into view, I'm looking for runway 27. I got the runway in sight. I'm sorry, runway 09. Which is right over there. There's the runway. And we're basically now just going to visually line up with the runway. Making small corrections on the side stick as required just to keep us going. And then we'll just follow the pappies in there. Here we go, runway 09. This can be quite confusing here in Amsterdam because they've got a lot of runways here. A lot of parallel runways. It's a huge airport. But so far, so good. Got a slight crosswind coming in, so just gonna make some small adjustments to take us in. I'm actually grabbing like crazy right now, but no worries. We've, we've got it. Very, very good. 500. All right. You guys can see the runway is right over there. Small correction to the right now, just to line her up. Grab it in ever so gently. Three hundred. Two hundred. And that basically is how you do a circle to land approach. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, retard. Retard. All right, here we go. Retard. Power levers to idle and engage full reverses. Okay, we got spoilers, reverses green, and we have decel. Aircraft is slowing us down, auto brakes are slowing us down. And at about 70 knots, I am going to idle, re idle reverse and then at taxi speeds, full idle, cancel the auto brakes. And now I can just basically taxi off at the next exit. Uh, so I'm just going to stop it on the runway. Set the parking brake. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do a circle to land in the Airbus A320. All right. If you've got any more questions, please feel free to mention them in the uh, comments below. If you haven't subscribed uh, yet, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. And if you did find this uh, video useful, please give it a like and uh, share it with your friends. And it really means a lot to us uh, that you've taken the time to watch this video. Thank you so very much for joining us and I'll see you soon. Oh, and by the way, if there's something you want me to do uh, in, in the next video, anything you want to learn about the Airbus, just let me know and I will I will make the video for you. Thank you so much again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.